University of Missouri Healthcare knows you've got better places to be than in a hospital. That's where our world-class technology and highly skilled medical team come in. We get you home sooner. That's important to you and those who wait for you. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on this Tuesday, August the 9th, and I've got one of my longtime friends with us today. Good, good to see him again, Gene Forrester, pharmacist at DNH Drugs. Hello, good Paul. to have you here, Gene. This is the height of the allergy season, right? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, as far as seasonal allergies go, this is the, the granddaddy coming up here in the <laughs> next few weeks. Yeah. It is. And, and so the granddaddy allergy season starts about this time and it runs through when? Uh, the First frosts is when you finally get rid of uh, ragweed pollen, yeah, and that, that's the main thing. But as the season cools down in say October or so, you'll you'll it'll let up some. So. Yeah. Now our bodies can change, mm -hmm. can't they? Because I remember years ago, this was like death time for me um, with my eyes and my nose, and it just it seems like I've maybe outgrown it a little bit. Well, hopefully you did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not sure, but 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 your body changes yeah, uh, all during your life. Okay, so. so if you have allergy, I remember you telling me this years ago. Mm -hmm. If you have allergy and you start a medication, you need to stay on it because mm -hmm. just because you feel better, if you take go off of it. It's, you're going to start feeling bad again. Well, especially on seasonal allergies, if you know that you have an allergy, uh, like in the springtime, you have uh, trees usually, and and if it always like about March 15th or so, you start having the the symptoms. Well, I would do like at least a, a week or two before that time. Start start with your antihistamine, and if you have a, na a steroid nasal spray or something, or a nasal rinse that you're using, to start using it proactively because if you can get ahead of the the uh, the allergic reaction, then you're much better off to. Uh, How do you know when it's okay to, to stop, stop using it? Well, that's the other thing you have to have past experience, and usually like the spring ones, they will last maybe two to three weeks because it's only during that time of a specific tree or whatever that affected you. Uh, if you have mold, then that comes and goes with uh, the mold count as far as mm -hmm. how much. And uh, if you have the if you have the fall allergy, late summer or midsummer mm -hmm. through fall, then you would want to stay on that medication until the first frost. Yeah, I would. If I was a hay fever person that has has had that problem in the past in labor days when people come in the very worst because they suffered with it for a week or two and then labor day weekend they go well they come in and start asking for advice <laughs> okay and, all right and but then th those people should be taken i would be taking the antihistamine oral antihistamine and trying proactive ways of cleaning your sinuses out yeah now you brought along several products today and these are all over-the-counter mm -hmm. products let's start with the saline rinse because okay that's the, the nasal pure nasal yeah washing, that's that's it? probably one of the best things they've brought on the market in the last uh, say 10 years i think uh and our local hannah solomon dr hannah solomon uh, she brought, invented it. Uh, yeah, she brought, invented this Developed product. this thing and purified another a previous way of, of people doing it that you were looking like you were using a teapot to rinse your sinuses out. So this is a much more effective way, I think. And it really, it really does rinse out your sinuses. Mm -hmm. And it's made right here in Missouri. Right. Right here in Missouri. Well, the sea salt company comes from the sea, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. But it, it you. You think, oh, I don't, I'm not sure if I really want to use this, but give it a try, and it really does clean out your sinuses. Yeah, it really, it really sinuses. is an effective product to keep that okay. sinuses cleaned out. Then uh, you've then got... Then we have a hodgepodge of three different antihistamines okay. now. And a lot that... of times, if you do that nasal rinse, you don't need to use the antihistamines, right? Right. Uh -huh. Okay, and these are all over-the-counter products? These are all over-the-counter products now. We've had three products that were prescription for uh, their 17, 18-year patent life, and they've all ex all finally have all expired now. The last, the first, there was Claritin, which is loratadine, and then there's uh, Zyrtec, uh, was about three years ago, and then Allegra 
just became over the counter this uh, just this spring. So all of these are now generic that you can buy. And over they're the all counter. now available generically also. Well, yeah. how do you know which one is going to be the best one for you? Yeah, that's it. Kind of depends. I mean, it's because say people will try a product and then if they don't get results, they'll move to the next one. Usually, like the Claritin or the Loratadine is maybe the place to start because it's it's the least. Um, as far as it's, it's beginning one, it's the least expensive one to use, and so it's a good place to start with it. And then if it doesn't, then try one of the other two. Now, do any of these products have any side effects that you need to be concerned about? They they are all classified as um, low sedation, but compared to what has been out there previously, and they're very, very low sedation, but Zyrtec does have a little more uh, drowsiness than the rest of them do. And the other one was Loratic, what'd you say? Uh, Loratadine. Loratadine, uh -huh. and that has no drowsiness to it either. Right, and then the other thing that's the key part, if you already got the symptoms of your stuffy head, then, then you need a nasal decongestant. Okay, so if you got the symptoms, go with a nasal decongestant. And that would take care of just that sinus congestion and relieve okay. the pressure. To then breathe. once that goes away, can you drop the nasal decongestant right. and just go with the so antihistamine? Just the antihistamine, yeah. Okay, yeah. all right. And then the other product to use, for the people that have seasonal allergies, the pollen is what is blowing around and it gets in your sinuses and you can wash it out and take, take antihistamines for it. but. The topical uh, attack on the eye, it, it you know your eyes get itchy and you rub them and they get watery and and you just feel terrible. So there's an excellent product that's now a prescription it was a prescription now over the counter that is uh, the Zatador and that's available as a generic. Now is that a, too. that is a generic. That's a brand item, but there is the, the generic package. I didn't like the looks of it. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> it wasn't very photogenic, I thought. So right, and since we're doing this for the web too, you can go to kbia.org, click on Radio Friends, watch the vodcast, and you've got a photogenic. Uh, so what yeah. is the generic brand then? Uh, I'd have to read it here. It's uh, uh, Ketofen. Ketofen. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's basically a uh, anti-inflammatory agent that's su uh, specifically designed to put in the eye to block that histamine release. And even if you wear contacts. Oh yeah, if you got contacts, you got problems. You, <laughs> <laughs> but, so you can you use to, this. You can if use you it, but contacts. you leave them out for a certain amount of time. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Now clear this up, because I wear contacts. Yeah. If you wear contacts, should you take the contacts out before yeah. you put in this eye solution? Yeah. And then you leave them out for, I think, at least 30 minutes or something, and then you put them back in. So do not put this in your eye with the contact Ma in. It, it's just more, more effective because you can have better eye contact with the drug. Okay. Spread All right. Out. And if you want uh, any information on this, you can give them a call at DNH, and mm -hmm. your telephone number, Gene? Is, uh, Broadway is 442-6105, and Paris Road is 443-2451. Okay. My good friend, Gene Forrester, okay. DNH. Thank you, Thank Paul. you. Thank you for coming by. Tomorrow, letterboxing. We're going we're to talk about that. Uh, our show directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audio Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director is Andrew Orozco, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James. James Mauser and like to watch this go to kbia.org click on radio friends you can also go to facebook.com slash rfwpp or follow us on twitter at paul pepper kbia bye bye <laughs>